so I'm trying to record this again. This time I'm using um, Audacity, I guess. So hopefully that'll allow me to get better audio. So yeah, this is my third time recording this. I probably started that strangely. So yeah. The first time there was no audio, the second time there was really low audio, so hopefully this time it'll work out. I can see my audio levels to the right of me, so maybe that'll make it better. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do is just play through this as quickly as possible, the first world, the light world, and um, both of the, or all three of the bonus levels in there, and maybe the glitch world if I get it, but that's random. So yeah. I planned on doing it, like, without having recorded any of it before, and just having the game be completely new, but it didn't work out. So, some of the levels, if, or all the levels in the first world are already done, but yeah. So I'm just going to be going through these levels as quickly as I can. I think I'm pretty good at this game, but I did pretty badly when I was trying to record it before, so I don't think I'm as good as I think I am. Whatever. So yeah. This is the first level with a bonus level in it. Basically you have these warp gates. Since I fell like that, I might not be able to get it now though. Oh, I still made it. The warp zones disappear after a little while, basically they are just little hidden bonus levels that are themed after older games and stuff, so they're pretty cool. You only get three lives per level in these, as opposed to the other levels where you have infinite lives, but the lives reset after you beat each level. There are three levels in a set of these bonus levels once you go through the warp zones. I always hate making that jump. I'll show how to get the bandages in another video. So yeah. I hate this jump too. I almost always die there. Oh. Yeah, that's what usually happens. Or that. I am going to beat every level, I'm not just going to stop if I die, or get a game over. I usually go up on the right side. Darn it. So yeah, I die in those more often than I die in any other level, I think. But I am going to beat all the levels, or try to at least. I've never actually beaten this game, but I've beaten the first world quite a few times. So I'm pretty good at the first world. But don't take anything I say seriously because I always do stuff like that. So yeah. And these first world bonus levels aren't that difficult, even though I'm pretty bad at them. I always mess up and do like that jump the hard way. There. I've noticed each time you finish these you get a little random ending thing. It's not the same every time, like that cutscene at the end is different every time. 
at least every time I've seen. So now I'm gonna beat this level the normal way without getting the warp zone. If I can. But yeah, I'm just gonna rush through the first world as quickly as I can. I played the first world a lot. It's not going to be as good when I get to later worlds or the dark world. It's going to take me a lot longer to finish anything. I don't think I've ever died on that level. I've always died getting that bandage though, or trying to get it. level's not that difficult. You just gotta jump through there like that. And so it's pretty easy, most of the levels in the first world. You do actually have to get an A+, to unlock the levels in the dark world, which I'll show you in another video. Basically, they're just harder versions of the levels we've already gone through. You can actually jump up through here, but it's difficult. I got myself doing it in one of the other videos, but obviously that didn't get recorded. But I also did it as a different character. I'll show you... I'll try to show you again. Whoops, I didn't mean to finish that level. So, I'm going to replay this level to get the warp zone. I usually go this way around the first time with Meat Boy. So this warp zone here actually has a, one of the first characters in it. Or the first character you can unlock, I think. So yeah, there's a cutscene that happens. So yeah, the character's gonna come any second now. There's not a lot of sound here. And there he is. In case you don't know who that is, the game's gonna say it in a second. Right after this. It's like a nice Pac-Man joke. So yeah. Commander video from the BitTrip Runner series. It's basically a videotape with legs. When I've been recording these levels, I've been doing worse than I ever do when I'm not. So, yeah. to do my best. These levels aren't that difficult, they're still only in the first world. I rarely ever die on this level, but the first time I recorded this I died a few times on it. So yeah. But those levels are pretty easy. So now, if I hadn't already done that, I would have unlocked Commander Video and a little thing would have popped up, but it didn't because I'd already unlocked him. And... But yeah, I'll try to show you. You can, like, jump up through here. I managed to do it in the other video. But it's kind of difficult. I'm also using the keyboard controls because I don't like how the Xbox controller feels in my hands. So yeah. It suggests to use an Xbox controller at the beginning of the game, but well first of all I don't have one because I don't have an Xbox, and second, I just don't like the way it works, or the way it feels. So yeah. The Dark World version of this level is probably the hardest in the first world, so I'll show you that when we get to it probably took me the longest time to beat and the most deaths. This level is pretty easy. The 
Dark World version is a little harder once you get to the end of the level, though. But yeah, this level's not that difficult. This level's not that hard either. You just basically gotta time it right. So yeah. This level's really easy. Well, unless that happens. That sometimes happens in this game, I don't know why, but sometimes you'll just randomly go through the map. Or the level. I don't know. It usually happens when the game lags, but it didn't seem to lag there, so I don't know what happened. This level's really easy unless you're trying to get the bandage. You can see it down there on the rightmost bottom platform. That one's pretty hard to get. There's another warp zone in this level. This is the last one in the light world. And probably the hardest, the easiest to miss the first time playing through the game, if you're not paying attention. It's just in a bit of a weird spot. And I die. You can see it up on the right if you were paying attention. So yeah. I don't usually talk as much when I'm playing this game. It's maybe that's why I'm doing worse. There's also a glitch when you go into the warp zones as a character other than Meat Boy where the little animation doesn't play of Meat Boy falling into the portal. So this level is pretty cool. It's based on old Game Boy games. If you didn't know. I'm not sure what game specifically, but it looks pretty cool. So yeah. I always have trouble with this level, even though it's not that hard. I always have trouble getting the timing right. I'm falling back down, not so much I'm climbing up. So yeah, this level is just basically you've got to race that saw blade that's shooting the platform out from under you on the bottom. There was actually a bandage in this level. This was the only bandage I've gotten in the game so far. Basically right under this place where you drop out, there was a bandage that you could pick up. It's kind of hard to miss, which is why I already got that one. So yeah, this is probably the hardest bonus level in this first world, I'd say, at least for me. So yeah, I did it pretty well there, but I usually don't do that one on the first try. So that was all the bonus levels in the first world, and now I'm going to go back and finish the regular levels and then do the boss. So yeah, I am going to be playing as Commander Video until I unlock the next character. I'll keep playing as the new characters as I unlock them. It's, that actually makes the game a lot easier because I think they set it up so that as you unlock the characters, if you're getting the bandages, it makes the game easier. I don't, I don't have to hurry there, but I kind of did and ended up getting me killed. I don't know. I don't usually die there. Usually you can just take your time here, since you don't really have to get to the warp zone. I usually never die here. I didn't die there in the first playthrough either, so I don't know. Or the first attempt at recording this, I mean. Maybe it was the second. I don't know. Usually I don't die there. But this time I am. You'll, I guess you'll just have to take my word for it, because I'm honestly being pretty bad at this game. Not as bad as one of the other times I tried to record it, though. I guess it happens. I almost died there. So yeah, this is the last level of the first world, light world. So yeah, I think that bandage up there on the top left, I think you can only get that if you're commander video, otherwise it's really difficult. Or another character will unlock later, but I don't have him yet. So yeah. 
basically this is the last level of the light world and it's not that difficult. The dark world version of it's pretty hard. And now we're gonna go and fight the boss and then watch the cutscene and that'll be the end of it. This might take me a long time, it took me a while the first few times. So yeah. Basically you've got this guy, he's chasing after you in a giant chainsaw robot, and he's got bandage girl strapped to the back. Basically you've just gotta outrun him and avoid the chainsaw or the saw blades, obviously, which I just failed to do. This was probably the hardest boss in the game for me, the first boss. I think the rest of the bosses after this, for the most part, are easier, which is strange since it's the first world's boss, but whatever. Darn it. So yeah. Basically, you've just got to get through here as quickly as you can while avoiding the saw blades. not that difficult once you've done it a few times. So yeah, now I'm just gonna let the cutscene play and then pretty much end the video. Those squirrels are jumping around. Another thing about this game, you'll find out it has kind of a dark sense of humor. So yeah. And there goes Dr. Fetus with Bandage Girl. Yeah, this is where the darker... Yeah, whatever. So anyway... That's going to pretty much be the end of the video with all these squirrels laying around. So yeah, if you liked the video, you can like it or favorite it or subscribe if you want to. You don't have to do any of that stuff, obviously. And yeah. So once this cutscene's done, I'm just going to end the video. And... Yep. So, thanks for watching, and that's going to be the end of the video once we watch these fireworks.